Today's video is a before and after slideshow of the progression of my work over the last six years. So go ahead and grab you a bowl of popcorn, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I don't have a before photo for this project, but this is the after photo I posted and I wanted to start with this piece because it is the first piece that I sold to a client. So it isn't work that I did for myself or family, which is what the first few years of my furniture flipping was. So this piece sold about six or seven years ago. I got super excited that following weekend, went out garage selling, bought about five different pieces, flipped those, sold those as well, and then that is kind of where I got started wanting to sell my furniture to other people, other people, and it just took off from there. So here we go. This is a coffee table and end table set that I found at a local garage sale. It's where I used to find basically all my furniture in the beginning was garage sales and Facebook marketplace. When I started, shabby and turquoise was super popular, so you're going to see a lot of pieces like this. I used to heavy distress by hand to get that look, and those pieces that I did like that sold like absolute hotcakes. This piece is from about six years ago, and in Oklahoma, the distressed and worn look was still really popular, so I was just going with it. This is a cute little roll-top desk I bought at a garage sale for about $20, and yep, I did it turquoise. Like I said, it was a thing then. There's a lot of turquoise pieces in this in the beginning. Oh, and yeah, I also distressed this piece as well, as I did most of my pieces back then. This also had to have been on my old phone. Can you see the photo quality is not very well at all. It's very fuzzy in the photographs here. I worked at the Bombay Company in college and well into my 20, mid 20s, late 20s. And this was a coffee table and end table set that I had bought from the Bombay Company. And of course, I did it turquoise and distressed it. <laughs> surprise, surprise. This is also another very heavily distressed piece that I did by hand and you know I just kind of went with that. I found something that sold and would just keep going with it. This is an antique dresser I found off Facebook Marketplace and guess what I did to it? Yep, you got it right. Very heavily distressed turquoise. It was a thing and I like I said, I just kept going for it. It worked for me. It sold here in Oklahoma. Again, this is like six years ago, maybe five years ago on this piece, and it's still popular. This is an antique vanity that I found on Facebook Marketplace, and I actually redid this piece for a charity benefit. And would you like to make a guess um, with the style and the look that I went with this piece? I bet you can guess it. Yep, it is turquoise, bold turquoise, with lots of heavily distressing by hand. These pieces took a really long time, but back then they were super popular and just sold left and right for me. So it was just a look that I kept going with and kept going with. But I have to say, I love the heavily distressed turquoise. It's not a thing anymore, so I did graduate out of it eventually. This is a buffet that my friend gave me, um, it was his grandparents, and they were going to chunk it to the curb, and he decided to see if I wanted it, and I graduated from the turquoise, and now we're into blue with the very light distressing, so we're not doing the heavy distressing anymore. On this piece, I think it's about five years ago that I did this piece, and you can tell that the distressing is lightening up, and I have a new phone, I think, because the pictures are a lot better quality. This is a desk that I bought at a garage sale in my neighborhood. That's $5, you can see the little sticker there. And like I said, when I find something that works, I kind of go with it. So instead of blue, I went with a shade of green. It's kind of turquoise, but not quite. We're gonna call it green, because I think I graduated from turquoise. Um, but I did a little bit of light distressing on this piece and just went with it. Like I said, when I find something that works, I go with it. A few years back, the two-tone look started becoming popular as far as wood and paint, so I found this set on Facebook Mar Marketplace, excuse me, and I went with a nice green shade with leaving the drawers wooden. And I really like the paint and the wood look together, and that's something I still do to this day. This is a buffet that I found on Facebook Marketplace with heavy, heavy water damage. 
But what I was able, to, I was just so happy I was able to save it, and what I did with it is absolutely amazing. This is the first piece that I did about five years ago that I fell in love with, and I started thinking to myself, you know, I can, I can do this. I'm good at this, and this is the piece that kind of, kind of set my mindset for the future and started making plans to do it 100% full time. This is a dining set I found off Facebook Marketplace, and I said I was done with the distressing, but <laughs> I lied. I wasn't. I went back to it again, not as heavily distressed as before, but a little bit kind of medium distressing. It's not light. It's not heavy. And this dining set sold super fast for me and actually brought in some more clients for me. You can also see that I'm starting to take different angles in my photographs and also, you know, pictures of the items staged and unstaged. I think that's a great way to show what items could look like, but also let people create in their own mind what they want, what they want it to look like. So that set sold really fast and I got me another client. So I found another dining set off Facebook Marketplace and I redid it for a client Basically the same idea, but with different colors of chairs and a little bit of different color on the table and the bench. But I just love this farmhouse look. Again, it's like medium distressing. And I sold a couple sets this way. And I wanna say this is the first client order I did after I had quit my full-time job and I'm now doing furniture full-time. This is another buffet that I found off Facebook Marketplace. And I kind of went back to my roots as far as colors, and I went back to a turquoise blue and white two-tone. But this one is not distressed. It's completely solid. So I'm, I'm progressing here. You can definitely see that I learned from other furniture flippers and people who sold their stuff on websites and Facebook Marketplace, you know, because I'm working, getting different angles here. But this is at nighttime inside my garage. So like having a photo booth hasn't registered really yet with me and lighting. I had no concept of lighting here in these photog in photographs. So there's shadows. They can't really catch the true color of the piece. Um, so I definitely am not quite there with my photography yet. All right, this is a metal and wooden dress that I got for free from a friend, so I always love those. With my free pieces, usually I try to do something a little bit bold. So this is about um, four years ago, and I tried the bright Kelly green with the gold, which is super popular now, but back then I was a little early on it, so plus my staging wasn't really that great for the photographs. Um, so this actually sat for a really long time, and I sold it for like $100 like four years ago. I'm sure the green and gold was super popular back then. It just hadn't hit Oklahoma yet, and so I had to wait for that phase to finally get here. So this is a super massive dining table that I got from a friend. It has a table, leaves, the legs. I think there are six chairs. Like this set is just absolutely massive, and it's pub height, so it's a very tall set. And there's a few spots where a dog had chewed on it, which is why they were just getting rid of it. So I had lots of repairs on this piece, but what I was able to make it look like was absolutely phenomenal. And a photograph fail, this is literally the only photo I have of this set, but it turned out absolutely amazing. I feel like at this point, I'm still lacking on photography skills a little bit, but the look and skills are all coming together. Now this is a hooker entertainment center that was also given to me for free by a friend. And I went bold with this one. I did it a nice bold color and then went back over it with the black wax. I just think that it looked absolutely phenomenal. Um, I'm not obviously super big on staging my items yet here, but this is about three, about three years ago that I did this piece. Here it is at my furniture booth with a more appropriate lighting and Gosh, that color is just absolutely stunning. This is a nightstand I found on Facebook Marketplace. I think I only paid like $10 for it. But you know, I sold that green entertainment center with black wax, so black wax became a thing or dark wax for a while. This one I painted white and it did the black wax on it and it just turned out absolutely amazing. This is a look that I still do to this day and usually sells pretty quickly for me. 
So I always find random tables and chairs listed on Facebook Marketplace that don't go together. So to keep these from landfills, I start making sets out of them and paint them to match each other. I brought the turquoise back in for this set, um, but I did tone it down a little bit with some dark wax. Again, I'm still in that dark wax phase, but I actually really like this set and kind of want to do another one like it now. <laughs> This is a massive dresser that I drove out to Crescent, Oklahoma to pick up and I posted it on Facebook Marketplace and my business page saying I have this dresser, I can paint it for you for this much and I had a client reach out and wanted metallic so we did metallic and black because I'm still on that black wax phase. But this dresser turned out absolutely stunning and again I just started thinking to myself that you know I've got some skills like this is something I can do I am talented at this and my, some of my pieces I'm like really starting to fall in love with because to me they look absolutely beautiful so I found this dresser on Facebook marketplace for a client that was wanting me to do a changing table for her soon-to-be born son so I redid it and they took his photos with it it's absolutely darling it has gold it's turquoise haha -ha, always turquoise here and there but it started a gold phase so this is a French provincial set that I also found on Facebook marketplace and I just kind of went nuts with the gold for a while these are hot pink, they're bold. I'm getting more confident. Um, this staging, I've started staging outside. It's a little bit better than the dark of my garage. And I'm taking different angles and my photography skills definitely are growing with my artistic skills as well. I originally found this really fancy end table and coffee table on Facebook Marketplace, painted it white. I was going to like glaze it, chickened out, let it set for a year and decided to go with black and more gold because I'm on a super big gold kick right now. This is with gold leafing and I kind of did lots of pieces there for a while with gold leafing, uh, which I still added in there here and there, but not back to back like I was then. This is probably about three years ago. This is a dresser that I bought from a friend who was downsizing and I went still with gold but I tried to bring the green back in and it actually was more popular at this point so this didn't sit for quite as long and I got out of this piece what I wanted and I also took note of the photographs here of the soft light into the garage how it really complemented the piece. And it looks completely different here like inside so definitely outside lighting is better for your furniture pieces this is a duncan five style dining set that i bought at a garage sale i bought the whole entire set for twenty dollars i completely lucked out on that i did this piece about two years ago and the wood tone with the black has was really popular and it still really is. I have a piece like that in my own house actually that I did just a few months ago. It's on my Facebook or on my, not my Facebook, I'm sorry, my YouTube channel. At that garage sale where I paid $20 for the Duncan 5 dining set, I also paid $20 for this bedroom set which is the vanity and then I have a dresser then nightstand that I'll show you. With the vanity, I'm going white, and gold, black and gold, white and gold are always classic looks, um, but no distressing here, clean lines, pop of color. As far as photography, I'm taking different angles of the piece, trying to show the wonderful accents of it, the pop of color, the material of the stool, just highlighting the benefits of the piece in my photographs. All right, here is the dresser and nightstand that went with that vanity. I went with a completely different look on these, and I went with the classic black and gold. And again, I'm just taking more angles of my photographs, taking the items, pictures of the items separate when they're in a set, picture of them together, pictures of them staged. Definitely not pictures of them in the dark in my garage anymore. <laughs> All 
right this is a set of chairs i found off facebook marketplace that just needed a new look they had good bones but they were kind of grungy so i gave them a farmhouse style look farmhouse style is still pretty popular here in oklahoma um, but it was it's been for a long time and i have a feeling it will be for quite a while All right, so this is a Hoosier cabinet that I found on Facebook Marketplace. At the time, it was the most damaged piece I had ever attempted to fix. And it was tons of work, but absolutely, it was very much worth it. Just wow. This is another piece where I absolutely wowed myself with my growing skills and capabilities. Unfortunately, this is not too long after I moved into my new house. I hadn't quite figured out where the best place to take photographs was, so there's branches going across, causing shadow on my furniture piece, and that's definitely not ideal whenever you want to sell a piece. I do have to say, though, this was the first piece that I sold, and it was shipped to New Jersey. Well, it's the first piece that I sold and shipped. Obviously not the first piece that I sold. All right, this is a set of nightstands I have found off Facebook Marketplace. I had a friend who was wanting some nightstands. These definitely need a lot of work, but I was just like, I have an ideal for these. Let me do it. And she just kind of gave me free reign, which I love when that happens. And this is what I did. I did the two-tone, the wood, turquoise is back yet again, but... I just love the gold handles and this set turned out super cute and I'm kind of getting more into a more mid-century feel. I'm about two years into, two years ago in flipping. Now I kind of went with the wood tone for a while and I still do it. This is a vanity I found off Facebook Marketplace. I had a cousin that was looking for a vanity for her new house. So I found this for her and went with a two-tone paint and wood look for her. And just wow, look at that bright white. Now the stain looks blotchy because again, I have tree branches, shadows coming onto the top. I'm still working on my photography skills, but I'm getting different angles, showing the pops of color. Um, the stain, like I said, the stain job does not look like that. It was actually a really good stain job. Uh, it was just, you know, shadows can ruin a picture. All right, this is a dresser I got probably about a year ago, but then about six months ago, I finally decided to go ahead and flip it for this piece I did for myself. Um, again, I like the wood tone with the paint, and it, I kept it kind of masculine and replaced the handles on it. But again, I didn't take professional photos of this piece just because I knew it was a piece that I was doing for myself and I wasn't going to sell it. But I like the mid-century look. I buy those up and flip those, you know, any chance I get now. All right, this is a large dresser I found off Facebook Marketplace for, I spent only $100 on it, believe, I believe, goodness. And it has some good bones, but there are some scratches and nicks over and the top drawer is broken. So at this point, I think this is about a year and a half ago, I had found a Katja video and I attempted one of her looks and it turned out absolutely phenomenal. And in these photographs, you can really see that um, I get, I'm really working the camera angles here. Now, some of them are a little awkward and it's not quite there yet, but I'm definitely getting more into the lighting and the angles to accentuate your piece. This is a serpentine set of nightstands I found on Facebook Marketplace. Also, I spent $100 for them, but they're Pulaski. Again, I did that Katja um, tutorial of the patina paint, but you can see here that I have much better like camera angles than I did before, really capturing the patina rustic look, and it's just absolutely beautiful. I do this look over and over, and it sells in Oklahoma here every single time I do it. 
And after watching and doing these kacha tutorials, I just really let my own creative side out from there and it just grew. This is a Bombay chest I found on Facebook Marketplace. Um, the veneer is really chipped. It doesn't look that bad in the photograph, but it was really, really bad in person. And I went turquoise, I went patina, I went rustic, and I did the copper penny top with an epoxy pour, which is a new thing to me. So I'm experimenting, trying new things, going bold with my colors, getting lots of metallic in there. And lots and lots of different angles in my photography. So where am I at now in my furniture flipping? This is a true farmhouse table for I did for a client. And you know where I'm at now, this is the last couple months, um, I still like to do the dark wax a lot. It may not be popular in other states, but you know it is still here in Oklahoma. So that aged patina look still sells really well. So I still do that. This is a set of nightstands. Um, it, there's actually two of them that I found off Facebook Marketplace. And like I said before, I'm still doing the white paint with the black wax. Every single time I do this look, it sells really quickly for me. And this is a set I did just a couple months ago. You can definitely see in my photography skills here that I'm using soft lighting, not bright, harsh lighting, and that the photographs really accentuate the detailed highlights it. This is a French Provincial nightstand, I or not nightstand, dresser that I did for a client, and I, where am I at with my painting now? Going bold. I use bold colors. I paint in pink. I paint in pink way more than I thought I would now. I use purple, green. I use all kinds of bold color. I'm not afraid to do it. I don't just do turquoise and white and distress like I used to in the very beginning. I just go, I guess, go bold or go home now. <laughs> you can tell from these photographs that I'm much better at finding angles that complement the piece. I have a photo booth set up in my garage now and use that soft light pouring into my garage to help highlight my pieces. This is a faux bamboo vintage dresser I found off Facebook Marketplace. I really like this style. It is super popular and I see people painting these hot pink, all kinds of bold colors, you know, and that doesn't really scare me anymore. I went actually with green on this piece. Finally, green and gold is a popular color that I do often and it sells really quickly. I tried it a few years ago. Oklahoma wasn't ready for it, but it is a color that does and sells really well for me now and I love that. And again, I feel like I've just kind of find, found my jam as far as the photographs that highlight and make the furniture pieces look ama just as amazing as they are in person. It, this is a set of nightstands I bought off Facebook Marketplace. And I think I drove all the way to Yukon, Oklahoma to get those. And they had some damage, so they took a little bit of repair work to do. But you know, I did that one Hoosier cabinet, so I'm not scared of repairs anymore. And I went with the classic black and gold. It's a color combination I've done a couple times over the years, but it's something for me that always sells and just looks absolutely beautiful. And again, I'm playing with that light pouring in the windows to highlight the furniture piece and just really showing the detail up close. I am definitely not a photography expert by any means. There's always room for more work, but I can just definitely tell that my photographs are getting much better. All right, now for the last two ones I'm gonna do are going to be my favorite flips. This piece is by far the most damage and repairs I've ever done, but again, with the classic black and gold look, the outcome is absolutely phenomenal. I blew myself away with this flip. and. Again, the photographs are just amazing. I feel like I, I took really good photos to highlight the furniture piece and the artwork that I did on it. I just love how I have progressed to using gold and bold and stencils and decals and all kinds of artistic type stuff with furniture. It's so fun. 
And then this is my other favorite piece. This is a buffet that a friend found on the side of the road that I got for free. And I did go with a little bit of distressing. I haven't distressed anything for years and years, but I just, this piece, I don't know. To me, it seemed like it needed a little bit of distressing to help highlight the character. And again, you can just see the photography here is much better. I'm using the natural lighting to accentuate my piece and show off how stunning it is. The black and gold buffet, the bee buffet, and then this blue buffet, I have to say by far are my absolute favorite flips. And I think other people's as well because these are the most to watch videos on my YouTube channel. If you guys are interested in watching those furniture flips, I will pop those videos up for you on this end screen. I hope you guys enjoyed this slideshow of the progression and step backs of my furniture work and artistry and photography skills all just working over the years, changing its style and again stepping back and then going forward. If you're new to furniture flipping or haven't been doing it for very long, I hope this inspires you to see what you will be capable of with just a little bit of work and practice. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. Make sure to tune back in on Saturday. It is the Fall Furniture Flipping Challenge. I will have a video for that for you guys. As always, until next time.